Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. In this video, we are going to see that how we can find out Miller indices of planes in cubic unit cell. Alright, so before the video, we have already calculated Miller indices for two sets of planes and in that video, we will be doing it for this plane. Okay, we can see it's interesting one, it's a different one and let's quickly get started and see how we can do that. First of all, let us have a quick overview on the steps that we are going to follow because it really helps us to clear away like the path that we are going to follow. And the first important step is to define the coordinate system. Okay, so we'll define what is our x, y and z axis. We'll define our origin. And while defining the origin, defining the coordinate system is essentially like you are defining the origin. So while defining the origin, make sure that the plane is not passing through the origin. And the second important step is to find intercepts. And I would say this is the most important step that's the most important step and most critical or we can say uh, challenging step as well if you are you know done with finding out intercepts rest of all the things are really simple so uh, we'll see how and the third step is to find reciprocals of each of these intercepts after finding out the intercepts, we'll take reciprocal of all of these intercepts and after finding out the reciprocals, we'll make sure that there are no fractions. Remove any fractions. Remove fractions if any. If we have any fractions, we'll remove them by taking suitable action. We'll see how, um, if any. Okay. And after removing the fractions, the number that you got are the Miller indices and you'll write them in that order. First, you'll write the X index. Then second is the y index and third is the z index in that order okay enclosed in these circular brackets so these are essential steps the five steps and let's see how we implement that and how they help us to find the miller indices and we can see that we have two different planes here and first we will find out the indices for plane a which is in dark green color and the, these are the boundaries of plane a it's always good to see where is the plane A lying. Okay, these this is uh, what the plane A is. We can fill it up, but we don't need to. So we can see this is the plane A. And the first step is to define the coordinate system. Now, while defining the while defining the coordinate system, make sure that you are choosing a point that enables you to calculate all of the intercepts. Like we have three intercepts: x intercept, y intercept, and z intercept. We should choose a origin that enables us to have you know in all of the intercepts and what does intercept mean intercept mean the point where the plane cuts the x y and z axis well now let's start the inquiry process and let's see what is the most suitable coordinate system here because uh, we can see if we see the plane a we can see this is one of the boundary of the plane a and it's perfectly parallel to the z axis okay and if any of the boundary of the plane is perfectly parallel to any axis line we can see that this boundary line of plane a is perfectly parallel to the z axis it means that the z intercept you have calculated it in one single step is infinity okay two parallel lines or two parallel planes or something anything parallel to each other they never intersect each other so we write it mathematically to be infinity like its intercept would be taken as infinity so that is it we have calculated the z intercept just you know right away we don't need coordinate system for that we just need to look at the uh, boundaries of the plane now we are left with x and y intercepts we need to calculate these and we should choose a origin that enables us to calculate both of them so let's see what origin is the most suitable one and the one that is predefined it's okay to use it like we can see that the plane is not passing through the region but we can see there is a problem like plane a is here right here and it is not cutting the x-axis at any point inside this unit cell you know this is the x-axis and we can see it's not cutting it right here so if which is this origin then we wouldn't be able to calculate the x-intercept by looking at the figure we have to use the equation of plane that is totally fine if you want to but we can choose a different origin a better region i say that there is a better choice that is <laughs> uh, available to us so we should take advantage of that so if i take this point as a region on the other hand this point so uh, that would be you know the front 
line is the positive x-axis and you can see that the plane is cutting this positive x-axis at this point you know it's cutting the x-axis at this point if I take this new region then it's cutting the x-axis at this point and also uh, we can see that uh, that is this one the left line is the negative y-axis since it's left direction it's negative if it would have been that direction it would have been positive y-axis so now we have negative uh, y-axis and uh, we can see that the plane is getting the negative y-axis at this point all right and z-intercept is already known so x and y-intercept could be easily calculated from looking at the figure and using you know uh, this new origin that i'll be calling as o prime we can call it as x prime and y prime because they already defined it x y and z these ones previous ones so we can call the new ones as x prime y prime and z prime it's fine so we can see that we can easily calculate um the intercepts uh if we choose this new origin so let's see that uh, where does the plane cuts these axis lines like what number we will be taking so we can see here that they have already told us that it's half you know they have already told us this half that it's half but you can also make a good judgment by looking at the figure you can see that the length of the line before that point and after that point are both of them are equal it means that this point this intersecting point is dividing this whole length into two equal parts when the point is dividing the whole length into two equal parts it means that it is half okay we call it as half in reference to region uh, or the corner point so this point is taken as half so x intercept is half here okay so the plane is cutting this new x-axis at half and now let's talk about the y-axis and let me remove all of these things so that we can clearly see what's happening in here because now we know that the weight is the negative y-axis and rest is to find out that what does this point is so we can see that this is the point where it is cutting um where the plane is cutting the negative y-axis and you can see the length okay from corner to corner this is one corner this is another corner and if you find out this length this is one length and this is another one and they are both perfectly equal to each other it means that this point is also cutting this whole length from corner to corner from from corner to corner the length is taken as one okay the whole length is taken as one so if any point is dividing this whole length into two equal parts it means that this point is at half in reference to uh, origin or in reference to any corner point so the uh, the y intercept is also half but negative since it's negative y axis all right the new uh, coordinate system is negative y prime here and this is this was the positive x okay then left directions are negative and the right direction is positive y upward z is positive downward z would be negative front x is positive and backward x will be negative so that is how we reference directions so we have successfully calculated the x y and z intercept by choosing a suitable origin and it always works most of the cases but even in the case it doesn't uh, if it doesn't work we can have the equation of planes and we can use that i'll make a separate video where i'll be using that equation of plane to you know find out all of the indices by using this um, traditional coordinate system uh, but that is the topic of some other video and we'll do that but the most simplest method is to, to is to choose a suitable origin we'll see the cases in which the even suitable origin is not do not do not suffice to do that but we'll see that okay okay let's draw a table here since we are done with calculating intercepts so x intercept was half y intercept was minus one by two and z intercept is infinity now the next step is to take reciprocal we'll write that we are taking reciprocal okay we'll write the operation and next is to take the reciprocal and by taking reciprocal it means we are inverting okay them like it's 2 by 1 2 by minus 1 here and it's gonna be 1 over infinity all right so it's gonna be 2 and it's minus 2 here and 1 over infinity is 0 
and these are the final Miller indices 2 2 bar and 0 since there is no fraction involved so these are the final Miller indices and beware that in uh, planar Miller indices we don't reduce them into least integer form this is only a thing that we do in case of directions because um, directions if this is a vector and if this is a longer vector they both represent similar directions so we can reduce them into least integer form but this is not the case with planes in place mag in planes magnitude matters but in case of directions only direction matter not the magnitude that is why we can easily multiply divide anything with directions but not in case of planes so uh, we have 2 2 bar 0 these are the final Miller indices we'll write it like that 2 then 2 bar and then 0 enclosed in these circular brackets and these are the final Miller indices for plane A. So let's do now for the plane B. We can see that where is the plane B. We can see like that these are the boundary lines of plane B. Okay. So we can see it's a really simpler case because the predefined coordinate system works really well in that case because we can see that if we uh, see that this is the um, z axis okay and this is the x axis and this is the y axis so the plane is cutting the x axis at exactly this point it's cutting the y axis at this point and it's cutting the z axis at this point all right in case of planes axis lines are the you know um, the main guest <laughs> okay they are the chief guest so um, they matter a lot so the point where these the plane is cutting these axis line is actually intercept that is how we define intercept so we can see it's cutting here the x axis here y axis and here the z axis and they are really easily uh, determined so let's determine them let's see that what are these intercepts and we can see it's cutting the, we'll use this predefined coordinate system okay we'll not change the origin for plan b because we don't need to because the predefined coordinate system um, is enabling us to determine all of the intercepts okay by looking at the figure so we can see that in reference to origin it's at corner point so it's cutting at the corner point means the intercept is one x intercept is one now let's talk about the y intercept we can see it's cutting at the similar point here and uh, we can see this is a corner and this is another corner and we can see these lengths are equal to each other hence this point is cutting this whole length into two equal parts and this point is half and positive half since we see that the new code that the predefined coordinate system this direction was positive y okay we are choosing this point as origin this is the origin and uh, we are working with that it's not like we are not defining a new origin for this example because we don't need to and we can choose different origins for planes okay whatever matters uh, whatever makes the process easy so we can choose that that is totally up to us so uh, it's co uh, it's intercept is half since this point is cutting this whole length into two equal parts now for z intercept we can say this is here and they have already told us like this is half but we can also make a judgment like from this corner to this corner this length and this length okay they both are equal to each other and this point is cutting it into half so the z intercept is positive half as well positive because it is upward direction right hence in that way we have successfully calculated the x y and z intercept for plane b now let's do the next steps which is x y and z intercept we'll make that table we'll write these intercepts which is one half and half now the next step is to take reciprocal so we'll take reciprocal we'll write the operation that we are going to follow or perform and let's do the reciprocal one by one two by one and it's two by one again so it's one two two there is no fraction involved so these are our final miller indices and we'll enclose them in brackets like that all right so these are the miller indices for plan b and in that way we have easily calculated the Miller indices for plane A and B by a suitable origin selection. All right, we can choose different origin for different planes. Whatever um, you know makes the process easy, choose a suitable origin for that plane, and you have to mention it while doing it in exam because that's the part of the solution. You have to tell your professor that I'm choosing this new origin. This is O prime, and 
um, I'm choosing this region for calculating the Miller indices for plane A because uh, because in that way I can have all of the intercepts quickly determined by just looking at the figure. So you can you know justify your region selection. And yeah, you'll do the same for the plan B. You'll mention that by choosing the predefined coordinate system or this coordinate system, I can easily determine all of the intercepts that the plan B is making with the X, Y, and Z. Z axis. Well, that is it for this video. I'll be uploading more of these. I'll see more tough questions and we'll solve them together. And I have also uploaded many videos on such topics that enables you to do all of these questions with 100% surety. Like I have shared um, some exceptional tips and tricks, trips, tips and tricks <laughs> that enables you to solve the questions with 100% surety. And no matter the level of difficulty, you can, you know, easily do that. So yes, stay tuned with my channel and goodbye. Take care and subscribe, share, like and comment.